We'll do this. Hello. You s huh? Yeah. Mama ate something and I didn't share it with you. I'm sorry. You found me out. What up, nerds? My name is Leslie Smith. Welcome to The Nerdy Narrative, a channel where I like to talk about all sorts of fun bookish-related things in the science fiction, fantasy, horror, manga, and whatever other genres I decide to pick up at the time. In today's episode of Bookish Fun, we're gonna talk about my journey. I have finally started down the path to The Dark Tower. I recently read the first book in the Dark Tower series, The Gunslinger by Stephen King. This was originally published, I believe, in 1982, and then the updated version came out, I believe, in 2003. I did read the updated version that had the chapter about being 19, and then the introduction that was included as well. I think I read this book in two sittings. It is on the shorter side of things, which was kind of surprising. Normally when I see a Stephen King book, it's pretty thick. So I was kind of shocked when I got this one and it was a little scrawny thing. I don't believe there has ever been a more iconic quote from a book than the first line of The Gunslinger by Stephen King. The man in black fled across the desert and the gunslinger followed. I would say a close runner-up would be Fear is the Mind Killer from Dune by Frank Herbert, but even though I have never read the Dark Tower series and I haven't read a whole lot of Stephen King, I still have heard that line countless times and I knew exactly where it came from. As I mentioned earlier, The Gunslinger is the first book in a very, very widely read series, The Dark Tower. From what I gather so far, The Dark Tower is a fantasy series, but on the more haunting, darker side of that spectrum. This story follows Roland, who is the last gunslinger, as he is pursuing the man in black across a really brutal desert. And as far as where this desert is, I was never really quite certain. It sounded like our world, but then it sounded like it was our world in the future. And then other times I thought maybe it was a parallel world that it was taking place in. I was just, I was so confused reading this book because I have heard so many people talk about how boring it was. I never found it boring. I have so many questions about this little book. Who were the gunslingers? Why is Roland the last gunslinger? Who is the man in black? At first I thought maybe the man in black was Satan and Roland, the last gunslinger, was an angel come to return Satan to where he belongs. I later changed my mind on that as some things were revealed. You know, I was just constantly, where are they? When are they? You know, there was an, there was an obvious good and evil sort of feel to the story, but then again, I wasn't quite certain that Roland was all that good. I was absolutely fascinated by all the religious elements included in this story. They spoke in high speech. What was that? Was it Arabic? Hebrew? Like, why was that considered high speech? It often sounded like only certain ascended peoples could use this speech. Why? The way that they spoke, thee, thou. Where was this coming from? Where are these people? Where is this world? You know, there were several mentions of that world had changed and moved on from what it used to be. Why? What changed it? What made it seem to degrade instead of progress? The mystery of the universe is not time, but size. When I read that quote in the book especially with all of those questions I had in mind of where were they, when were they, and what made me finally sort of lean toward this was happening in a parallel world to ours is with the introduction of a character named Jake. Clearly, Jake was not from that world. I'm not sure how he got into it. It seemed the longer he was in the world, he couldn't remember exactly how he got there or where he came from. He would just randomly spout something out without thinking and 
Roland would say, why would you say that? Like, where was that? And then Jake couldn't remember. He's like, it just, it just came to my mind. It just came out. And, you know, at the point that I read that quote, there have been several mentions to the tower. The tower seemed to be the major reason that Roland was pursuing the man in black. The man in black seemed to be some sort of key to this tower. And then the tower seemed to be a key or a portal to other worlds. The mystery of the universe is not time, but size. So my time in the gunslinger, it was a very small world. There was not a whole lot of world building. It was pretty much, they ran across the desert, went through some caves, came out on the other side by some mountains. So I'm wondering, was that all there was left of this world? And the reason why Roland is trying to get to the tower is so he can get to another world, maybe the one he came from, maybe he wasn't from that world. You know, was Roland just passing through this world because he was pursuing the man in black? So many questions from this little book. Yet suppose further, suppose that all worlds, all universes, met at a single nexus, a single pylon, a tower, and within it, a stairway, perhaps rising to the Godhead itself. Would you dare climb to the top, Gunslinger? Could it be that somewhere above all of endless reality, there exists a room? You dare not. And in the Gunslinger's mind, those words echoed. You dare not. And then with that quote, I got to thinking, is Roland chasing the man in black as a means to an end to gain access to this dark tower so that he can climb it and perhaps see if God is real? Like I said, there was a heavy influence of old religion throughout this entire story. So I'm wondering if maybe the way that Roland was raised, believing in God, their way of life was all dependent on God existing. Maybe this was a religious journey and he wanted to see if God actually existed. You know, was the man in black taunting Roland by saying, you dare not go there? Was he taunting him because he knows that God's not real and that would destroy Roland, his way of life, the people that he grew up with, his family? Or on the other side of that coin, he discovers that God is real and then feels guilt and shame for having those doubts. You know, it was at this point that I remembered Stephen King was 19 when he wrote this. Was writing The Gunslinger a sort of therapy as he quested on his own journey about religion and what it meant to him and how he was going to feel about it going forward? That's kind of the impression that I got when I was reading it. It just felt like a quest for, is God real? Why do I believe the way I do? Do I believe it because that's how I was raised? Or I actually believe it. I have faith because I believe. Time is the thief of memory. This quote in particular really, really stood out to me. And a lot of that is largely due to a recent video that I saw by Angela from Literature Science Alliance. She has a series called Science Behind the Magic. The most recent one had to do with memory. What I learned in her video is the more you recall a memory over time, the more degraded and changed that memory becomes. And each time you recall it and it changes, it gets stored in its new format. The quote really drew my attention to that fact. The recalling of a memory and it changing and getting stored and saved over and over and over to where it just changes to something completely different, thereby stealing the truth of your past. I really puzzled over what that could mean for the story going forward was a very short book. It really gave me some mental exercise. I was just absolutely fascinated by the religious element. That's what drew me in and just captured my attention. I just absolutely love man's journey to finding God. I just absolutely love it. That's what drew me in. That's what kept me engaged. And then just the whole mystery surrounding who Roland and the Man in Black are. I am extremely excited to continue this series. I am dying to know where it's gonna go. What is this dark tower? What does it mean? What does it do? 
I am ready to find out. So there, there was a prophecy mentioned in The Gunslinger that has really had me thinking about what could possibly be coming ahead. I just can't decide on what I think might be about to happen next in The Drawing of the Three. I will be reading that book next month. But as far as The Gunslinger, I gave it four stars because I really enjoyed it. I cannot wait to continue this journey and get some answers. What do you guys think? Have you read The Dark Tower? What did you think about The Gunslinger? Does The Gunslinger sound like it might be interesting enough for you to get on the path to The Dark Tower? Let me know in the comments down below. Guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your morning. I'll see you soon.